Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Techno Babylon. In the last episode, Regis has made his way through this abandoned building, taking out cell crisis agents, or at least we thought they were, until Regis let us know that these are definitely amateurs, just trying to kill us. Now, we've looked through this building. The only thing that we need to do is get through this padlock to get into the sewers down at the factory floor. I took a few minutes off camera to look around, but I really think the solution is actually here with the industrial laser because we had that really polished glass disc that we put on that robot manipulator arm. So every time I think of polished glass, all I think about is a laser. So let's see if there's any way that we can... It's an industrial cutting laser. Looks like they had a little misfire. See if there's anything that we can do here. Oh, wow. Cutting laser control, so we can actually use this. Emergency cutoff, sort circuit and power supply, energy, select energy output, calibration, activation, remote via traveler. Huh. Plywood, titanium, concrete, danger, unsafe. Let's try the concrete here and see what exactly this will do. Let's use our traveler. Power up the factory si systems. Powerful enough to cut through concrete. Aha! So we do use the mirror. Sweet. That's cool. That's a really nice little solution to that puzzle. So, let's head down. Now, where do we turn it is the key. Not that way. Maybe this way? Hopefully I don't die in the process. That'd be a horrible way to go. Here we go. Laser goes through there. Hits the glass. Nope. Getting there, though. Maybe this way. Let's try it. Let's try all the options here. Just need to see the direct or the, the direction that this laser goes. And, oh, there it is. Huzzah. Nope. That's the padlock gun. Better not be walking into an ambush. Yeah, you better not. You down yet, have I? This is true. Regis. It's good to see you in the flesh as well, Lau. What do you mean in the flesh? You weren't the one sending messages through a transceiver in my head? No, she wasn't. No, I wasn't. Oh, this is a trap. I was her? Well, it seemed like that. Seemed like what? Who are you talking to? I never mind. Who? You found my message in the DNA. Eventually. You could have been a little less abstruse. I had to make sure you'd be the one to find it. Plus, if someone else did manage to get into it... They'd probably think you meant to meet up where our first case was, rather than where you caught me the first time. Looks like they found me anyway. There's why. Looks like she downloaded an interceptor. Even I can see the signal coming off it. Uh... Max, the voices say you've been bugged. What? Wait a second. Ah, oh, nuke an interceptor. That's nice. Any idea where you picked it up? It would have needed to get past both my checks and Central's. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. Or had access to Central's permissions database. Is it still a threat? No. They wouldn't have gotten anything while I've been in the sewer. There isn't any signal down here. The interceptor isn't broadcasting anymore. You fixed it. Yeah, it's been isolated. I have no idea when it started writing me. Must have been while I was investigating the, uh, the murder at the plant lab. Well, let's go ahead and we need to make sure that Lau's on our side. Be honest, Max. Do you think I did it? Regis, I'm not the one you need to... Do you think I did it? If I didn't know you like I did, I might. After what Baxter did, nobody would blame you. Except Central. But after what you tried to do with the bomber last night, 
What about it? You tried to save his life, even though he'd come here intending to murder as many as he could. It was the right thing to do. I've worked with you long enough to know how you work, Regis. What Baxter did didn't drive you to revenge. It's motivated you to try and make the world a better place. That's why he's a good cop. Well, what do you think we should do, Lau? What does the voice suggest we do? Thank you for your opinion, Max. You're probably thinking more clearly than I am right now. What do you think we ought to do next? I guess turn yourself in isn't an option. That is correct. Yeah. Well, we need to see if we can find out who really did kill Baxter. And why they've sent a strike team to hunt me down. If I might interrupt your happy reunion, I believe I may be able to help. You can? How? The voices again? My organization is aware of links between this attack and Dr. Baxter's murder. What? How? I believe we must discuss this somewhere more secure. 1181 Shenley Boulevard, Southeast Network, 16th floor. Come around the back. Well, I could ask how can we trust you, but we really don't have a lot of choice in the matter. This actually might be ignorance, um, that shady organization that Lau found earlier. We need to find out what's going on. You seem to have a better picture than us. And I guess you've been looking out for me so far. You say I know you? And I you, Charlie. All right. We'll come. Leave Dr. Lau. Come alone. No. Pardon? Lau comes too. She's the only one I know I can trust right now. Aw. Mm, very well. See you soon, Charlie. Hmm. Didn't... I don't know what that word means. 24 years earlier. Wow. Looks like Vargas pulled together quite a team. And who am I? Oh, wow. I'm probably Lau's, or um, Regis' wife, aren't I? Dr. Baxter. Hello, Charlie. What was that for? I'm not sure. I was just worried you weren't going to come. Don't be silly. Of course I was going to be here. I know. I was just afraid. Hey, there's no need to be afraid of anything here. Unlike your last job, there's no firing squad for motivation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... It's hard to believe all that's behind me. Not only do I have you to thank for getting me out of there, but getting me into this role as well. All I did was mention you to Dr. Vargas. He knew what he needed and you fit the bill. Obviously, he knows talent when he sees it. Hopefully, he likes my work. He can't exactly go to the Texan warlords for a reference. Well, that's a good sign. Now you're the one making jokes about it. Ah, the Texan warlords. So we got Dr. Chigua, Dr. Jung, and Dr. Baxter. We'll save Dr. Baxter for last, I'm thinking. You must be the famous Dr. Pereira I've been hearing so much about. Famous? The way Dr. Vargas has been going on, you must have been his star pupil. Oh. Hmm. You're right. I'm Victor Pereira. Vicky. Dr. Vargas mentioned me? Wouldn't shut up about you. Like you were Watson, Crick, and Einstein rolled into one. Or more like Oppenheimer, perhaps. Hey, what we did before isn't the key point. It's what we can do with the skills we've brought with us. Alright then, what's your field? Organic computing, mostly. I studied under Dr. Vargas. Ah, we've probably got some overlap then. Well, let's just go down the line here. You look familiar, Doctor. Nina Jong, pleased to meet you. AI and synthetic awareness studies. I remember. Dr. Vargas was a big fan of your work. He's assembling his dream team. That's what you get with an absurdly huge grant. Not that I'm complaining. And Chigua? And you are? Dr. Zvidzai Chigua. My friends call me Gwen. I was brought in from Bulawayo. What was your field? Embryonic baseline engineering. She's a real artist, building new animals from scratch. Angiosperms, mostly. Still not sure why I'm here. You got any idea what's going on? Yeah, what is this project going on here? Come on, you're the only one of us who's met Vargas in person. Do you have any idea what's going on? I couldn't help you, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, you're killing us. You expect us to believe he didn't tell his star pupil. Well, I might know. But I know how theatrical he can be. It'd mean a lot to him to be the one to reveal it. Whatever it is, this is some impressive hardware they've got. That and the secrecy says government work to me. I'll leave you to it. 
So let's see if we can examine these people. Charlie looks uncomfortable. You can't blame him. It's not the kind of lab environment he's used to. Nobody's threatening his life. Dr. Xiang and Chigua are in the midst of a fast-paced discussion. With their completely different fields, you reckon it's likely to do with something outside of work. Dr. Baxter is apparently a workaholic, having gotten underway with the project even before having been briefed. That's not particularly wise. And no items, so let's go ahead and talk to Baxter. Hi there. I'm Dr. Pereira. Yes. I, uh, thought I might get to know who I'm going to be working with? Oh. Right, certainly. Adam Baxter. You enjoying the, uh, MRI scanner? Ah, yes. Forgive me. It's just been some time since my last lab work. After the accident, no institution would take me. I feel as though I may wake up and have this dream of an assignment taken from me. Don't worry. Dr. Vargas is an excellent judge of talent. I can guarantee that this isn't merely out of pity. This is something of a last chance for me. We must succeed. <clears throat> Your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen. That's theatrical. As you look around, you will see some of the finest scientific minds of this generation. These minds have at their disposal the most cutting-edge tools available to humankind. Newton has decided, like an increasing number of cities, to invest in AI management, but they want no mere computer to run traffic patterns and coordinate electricity grids. They have asked me for something infinitely more advanced. They have asked me for the future. I have selected you for this venture because I believe that together we can make this future. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Central Project. Hell's bells. Charlie helped make Central? 871 Cyrus this is Street. the place Jinsel said to meet up at. Ugh, what a dump. The city just gets worse and worse every time I leave the trance. Well, Dr. Vargas must have been a uh, definite judge of talent, but perhaps not character. They've got the injector, the wetware. And we are back with Sesame. Ads for everything from sleazy bars to sex to cosmetics. Nothing I'd want, though. I feel like the whole neighborhood was designed to alienate me. Hmm. I can't reach it from here. Oh, so we may be having to use some of the signs. What's this aerial for? Visitors from out of town. Users connecting from other countries to the Transdens network? Newton's a bit funny about who gets to log on sometimes. So you figured you'd give them a hand by connecting them from abroad? Exactly. Foreigners pay better. Hmm. Well, that nice to meet you too. An underground trance den. People come here if they can't get online at home. Kind of thought it'd look slicker. Guess they're playing up the whole underground thing. Or maybe it's just as grimy as everywhere else in this part of town. Yeah, I really don't think this is for aesthetics. The expensive looking car seems out of place in a neighborhood like this. It must be well protected if someone felt they could leave it on display. Like most cars you've seen outside of the trance, it appears to be an auto drive. Barely anyone bothers with manual controls anymore. Good riddance, in your opinion. Can warning, warning. You are too close to the vehicle. Please step away from the vehicle. This message has been a product of Sentinel Security Systems. Oh, Sentinel Security. Interesting. So, let's chat with the bouncer here. Hey, no entry. Excuse me, I'm trying to get into the trance den. And I'm stopping you. What? Why? Maybe I don't like the look of you. Maybe we're full. Either way, shove off. That's not nice. Ugh, come on, there must be something I can do to get in. What do I need to do? Huh, we get that a lot. Some thrall drags themselves up here, says they'll do anything. Shows how desperate you people are. What do you mean, you people? Can I pay to get in? I don't know. Can you pay to get in? Um... Exactly. You wouldn't be dressed up in Skanto blue overalls if you could. You ain't even got shoes. Maybe I could do something for you? <laughs> I like them skinny, but you look like you'd break a bone if someone looked at you too hard. 
You wouldn't believe how many greasy thralls try to get in that way, though. I... what? No! Ew! No! I meant hacking! Hmm. City Utilities did cut the water again. So that might be our way in. What happened to the water? Bills weren't being paid. I needed all my quanta to pay off the bookies after Pakistan lost last month's game. Gambling debts? Hey, like you're in a position to judge anyone. Thrall. Anyway, Central Utilities shut down the water. Now we can't grow any more wetware. Oh, I don't want to give him my wetware, though. What do you want me to do about the water supply? I'm a hacker, not a plumber. The flow's controlled by a terminal in the sewer. I want you to breach it and get my water back. Hmm. Well, let's just keep on down the line here, see if we can get any more nuggets of information. This place looks like a dump. You're one to talk, girl. Bet yours is worse. Uh, so what happens here? It's a trance den. People come here to hook up. I always do it at home. Did do it at home. People can't always do it there, though. Maybe their partner don't want them doing it no more. Maybe there's some thrall who promised their probation officer they'd stay clean. So you're selling privacy? Bingo. It don't need to be pretty. Once you're in the machine, you don't care about how it looks. Yeah, that's true. What's with your arm? It's all metal. Lost it in the war. One of the wars. On biochem duty. Turned out that because of the shots they gave me, they couldn't just grow me a new one. Same reason I can't get wired either. Allergic to the stuff. But you run a trance den. Ain't that just the definition of irony? The arm's great, but the eyes they gave me ain't worth shit. Hmm. Well, he took advantage of the opportunity. Come on, man. I need to get back in the trance. It's important. That didn't work for the half dozen other thralls who tried it today. It sure ain't gonna work for you. Obviously, that wasn't gonna work, but... There's supposed to be a public terminal on the corner over there. I guess because of all the wires running from where it used to be into the cellar. You reckon I know something about it? You think maybe I stole the terminal and I'm now using it to run a pirated trans environment for profit? Uh, maybe? Huh, you're pretty sharp. <laughs> like someone who's very honest about his uh, scruples. So, you're not wired? You can't connect? Nope. Been allergic to neural wiring since the war. This seems like a strange thing to be doing then, running a trance den. You can't even experience the world you've built for these people. Means I can't get addicted to it either. Best kind of insurance. Bam. So... Why don't you hack the water yourself? You haven't got my skills? You think a lot of yourself, don't you? I ain't wired. Can't breach systems like that on the go. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Also means I got deniability if they just catch some thrall messing around with it. No, officer. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Hmm. What's with the antenna? The one under the neon lights? Not everyone here is a local. Some people ain't lucky enough to live in a city like Newton. International connections? Exactly. People in Newton can join this hub through the net. Some states, they monitor the usual net connections. So, they bounce the connection in via satellite. What are other countries monitoring for? Greater Hand likes to control the news and history. Concord is looking for anti-corporate opinion. Eurofed has strict definitions about what counts as acceptable entertainment. That's barbaric. Defeats the point of the net, doesn't it? But thanks to Pirate Net, they can never stop the signal. <laughs> Can't stop the signal, Mel. Quit hanging around. All right, all right, I'm going. Cool. So, there's the car. I bet the sewer entrance is underneath the car. So, let's try... Do we have anything in the injector? Oh, after giving Guy his dose. Fair enough. Let's try using the wetware with the antenna. The wetware won't form a connection with it. Ah, uh, what about the car? Nice. Brake. Charge speed. Mm, cool. Brakes on and off. Change the gear. Let's turn the brakes off. Drive one, drive two, reverse. Set acceleration. Oh dear. Well, there we go. <laughs> Maybe we could have done that a little bit better. 
But what's done is done. Hopefully that wasn't his car. Panel cover, street grate. A steel grate, as rusted as everything else down here. Looks like it covers the access to another shaft. Hmm. I'm not strong enough to open it with my bare hands. Maybe, uh, what's his dink up there with the robotic arm can? The panel bears the two-barred emblem of the centralized government. Beneath this, a warning to unauthorized users or those not from the utilities office. It's old and rusty, but still locked. Hmm. Well, can I... The wet wear won't... Okay. So... See if there's anything here in the car. car. Tool. Probably what they claim it's for, at least. So we got the crowbar. That's good. All Gordon Freeman style. Now... There we go. Can we use the crowbar on the grate, too? Excellent. Invalid user. Warning. Unauthorized use of City of Newton Utilities. Terminals carries a penalty of fine, imprisonment, or reconditioning. Well. Hopefully we can't do anything incredibly bad with the connection. Too easy. There we go. Water. Hazard list. Hazard list update. A number of toxic, destructive, and otherwise hazardous substances have been detected in the city's water supply. The quantities measured are unacceptable. Please download the latest priority list and calibrate your equipment appropriately. Okay, what does the index have to say? The city's list of current hazardous chemicals to watch out for in the water supply. It's got chemical markers, formulas, and breakdowns for programming scanning tools with what they're looking for. Uh, benzene, safe level 5 PB, or P, or PPB, identified 11, source factory discharge. Fair enough. Sulfuric acid, odor threshold, source acid rain. Estrogen, safe level 11, identified 28.8, plastics disposal. Interesting. Hmm. That's kind of bizarre. So, water and power, huh? Control. So that, let's turn this, eights, the water on here. I guess, turn on all the things. Can we actually go into the trance and interact? Nope. Never mind. I thought that we could have actually used that. Let's hit the mailbox just to make sure. Jinsel. Uh, 871 Cyrus Street. No public transport, no trans connections before our meeting. Whoops. Guy who knows. Cheers. Hey there, Miss Mandela. Just wanted to say thanks for the assisted cell. I'd probably be off to some Han factory by now without that epi sinculator. What was that address now? 871 Cyrus Street. Cool. Let's get out of here. And where was you? 871. Okay, we've turned the water and the power on. Maybe this will fix everything. Can I go in? You got the water going again, so, yeah, we got all we need for more wetware. Quit hanging around. All right, all right, I'm going. You are a charming individual, sir. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Super Latha Brothers. Wow. This place looks like a vile den of scum and villainy. Oh, there's a really bad smell coming from the vent. Somehow it's even worse than this room. It's built into the wall. I can't just pull that out. That's why we have the crowbar. Let's see what that is. And that'll lead into another area, I would imagine. And I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
Um, kind of interested to talk to these guys and find out what exactly is going on with Ignorance and how Regis and Lau fit into everything. But if you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.